diagram shows part of the curve with equation y is equal to f of x. So here we got our function y is equal to f of x. Curve passes through the points p, minus 1, 7, minus 1, 7, 0, 4, and r, 5, 0. On separate diagrams, sketch the curve with equation y is equal to the absolute value of the function of x, y is the function of the absolute value of x, and y is minus f of 3x minus 1. Indicate clearly on each sketch the coordinates of the points at which the curve crosses or meets the axis. So, the first one, if we put the graph on, so that the dotted line there is the original function. If I need to do the absolute value of x, then anything that's below the x-axis gets reflected in the x-axis. So for y is equal to the absolute value of f of x, you reflect negative y in the x-axis. So that this bit here will look like this, and then this will be the same. And therefore, this is the function y is the absolute value of f of x. Right, part b is the function of the absolute value of x. Okay, that's the original function. Now, if you take any negative x here, then it's going to give the same value as any value of x over here. So for y is equal to the f of the absolute value of x, you reflect the positive x in the y-axis. So this bit here of the graph just gets reflected over here. So we need to mark on the point um, minus five zero because it goes through here five zero this point will stay put and therefore my graph will look like that okay so anything that is positive x gets reflected in the y axis and that's how we get the graph of f of absolute value of x right more difficult one is y is equal to minus f of 3x minus 1 so if we draw the original graph, then we've got to work out here, what, what it does f of 3x minus 1 mean? So f of 3x minus 1 means a translation, 1, 0, followed by a stretch, stretch factor 3. Now, why is it that? Okay, so one way to sort of remember 3x minus 1, f of 3x minus 1, is how would you actually solve that to find the value of x? You would add 1 i.e. a translation of 1, 0, and then you would divide by 3. That gives me my stretch factor, 1 third. So what happens is this point moves to here, and then every point on the graph will move one unit to the right, you know, in the positive x axis direction. And then what happens is that every coordinate, so we take this coordinate here, and it will go to here. And what happens is that this is y is equal to f of 3x minus 1. Now, this particular point here would have been moved across in the translation, and during the stretch, it actually does not move. Right, the final thing is what does y is equal to minus f of x? Well, if we got this purple graph, uh, do minus f of x is a reflection in the x-axis. So this bit here will get reflected up here, and this bit here will become down here. So we need to mark on this point here, down here. So we need to mark on the point minus 7, 0, and this point, which is all we already know to be 2, uh, 0, and then we just reflect the purple graph purple graph here in the uh, x-axis. So this bit goes like this, it will go up here, and then this bit will sort of go down. So the red, red graph here represents y is equal to minus f of 3x minus 1. So this has been a video to show you how to, uh, given a graph y is equal to f of x, that you can find the absolute value function 
f of the absolute value function and then do combination of transformations. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.